The green algae, singular, green alga, are a large, informal grouping of algae consisting of the chlorophyta and charophyta, streptophyta, which are now placed in separate divisions, as well as the more basal mesostigmatophyceae, chlorochibophyceae and spiritinia. The land plants, or embryophytes, are thought to have emerged from the caraphytes. Therefore, cladistically, embryophytes belong to green algae as well. However, because the embryophytes are traditionally classified as neither algae nor green algae, green algae are a paraphyletic group. Since the realization that the embryophytes emerged from within the green algae, some authors are starting to include them. The clade that includes both green algae and embryophytes is monophyletic and is referred to as the clade Viridae plantae and as the kingdom plantae. The green algae include unicellular and colonial flagellates, most with two flagella per cell, as well as various colonial, cocoid and filamentous forms, and macroscopic, multicellular seaweeds. There are about 8,000 species of green algae. Many species live most of their lives as single cells, while other species form coenobia colonies, long filaments, or highly differentiated macroscopic seaweeds. A few other organisms rely on green algae to conduct photosynthesis for them. The chloroplasts in euglenids and chlorarachnophytes were acquired from ingested green algae, and in the latter retain a nucleomorph vestigial nucleus. Green algae are also found symbiotically in the ciliate paramecium, and in hydra viridissima and in flatworms. Some species of green algae, particularly of genera Trebousia of the class Trebuziophyceae and Trentipolia class Ulvophyceae, can be found in symbiotic associations with fungi to form lichens. In general the fungal species that partner in lichens cannot live on their own, while the algal species is often found living in nature without the fungus. Trentipolia is a filamentous green alga that can live independently on humid soil, rocks or tree bark or form the photosymbiont in lichens of the family Graphidaceae. Also the macroalge Praseola calophylla Trebuziophyceae is terrestrial, and Praseola crispa, which live in the supralittoral zone, is terrestrial and can in the Antarctic form large carpets on humid soil, especially near bird colonies. Cellular structure Green algae have chloroplasts that contain chlorophyll A and B, giving them a bright green color, as well as the accessory pigments beta-carotene and xanthophylls, in stacked thylakoids. The cell walls of green algae usually contain cellulose, and they store carbohydrate in the form of starch. All green algae have mitochondria with flat cristae. When present, paired flagella are used to move the cell. They are anchored by a cross-shaped system of microtubules and fibrous strands. Flagella are only present in the modal male gametes of caraphytes, bryophytes, pteridophytes, cycads and ginkgo, but are absent from the gametes of pinophyta and flowering plants. Members of the class Chlorophyceae undergo closed mitosis in the most common form of cell division among the green algae, which occurs via a phycoplast. By contrast, caraphyte green algae and land plants embryophytes, undergo open mitosis without centrioles. Instead, a raft of microtubules, the framoplast, is formed from the meiotic spindle and cell division involves the use of this framoplast in the production of a cell plate. Origins Photosynthetic eukaryotes originated following a primary endosymbiotic event, where a heterotrophic eukaryotic cell engulfed a photosynthetic cyanobacterium-like prokaryote that became stably integrated and eventually evolved into a membrane-bound organelle, the plastid. This primary endosymbiosis event gave rise to three autotrophic clades with primary plastids, the green plants, the red algae and the glaucophytes. Evolution and classification Green algae are often classified with their embryophyte descendants in the green plant clade Viridiplantae, or Chlorobionta. Viridiplantae, together with red algae and glaucophyte algae, form the supergroup Primaplantae, also known as Archiplastida or Plantae sensu lato. The ancestorial green algae was a unicellular flagellate, the Viridiplantae diverged into two clades. The chlorophyta include the early diverging prosinophyte lineages and the core chlorophyta, which contain the majority of described species of green algae. The streptophyta include caraphytes and land plants. Below is a consensus reconstruction of green algal relationships, mainly based on molecular data. 
The algae of this paraphyletic group, Charophyta, were previously included in Chlorophyta, so green algae and Chlorophyta in this definition were synonyms. As the green algae clades get further resolved, the embryophytes, which are a deep caraphyte branch, are included in algae, green algae, and caraphytes. Or these terms are replaced by cladistic terminology such as archiplastida, plantae, viridiplantae or streptophytes, respectively. Reproduction Green algae are eukaryotic organisms that follow a reproduction cycle called alternation of generations. Reproduction varies from fusion of identical cells isogamy, to fertilization of a large non-modal cell by a smaller modal one oogamy. However, these traits show some variation, most notably among the basal green algae called prosinophytes. Haploid algal cells containing only one copy of their DNA can fuse with other haploid cells to form diploid zygotes. When filamentous algae do this, they form bridges between cells, and leave empty cell walls behind that can be easily distinguished under the light microscope. This process is called conjugation and occurs for example in spirogyra. The species of ulva are reproductively isomorphic, the diploid vegetative phase is the site of meiosis and releases haploid zoospores, which germinate and grow producing a haploid phase alternating with the vegetative phase. Sex pheromone Sex pheromone production is likely a common feature of green algae, although only studied in detail in a few model organisms. Balvox is a genus of chlorophytes. Different species form spherical colonies of up to 50,000 cells. One well-studied species, Volvox carteri, 2,000 to 6,000 cells, occupies temporary pools of water that tend to dry out in the heat of late summer. As their environment dries out, asexual V. carteri quickly die. However, they are able to escape death by switching, shortly before drying is complete, to the sexual phase of their life cycle that leads to production of dormant desiccation-resistant zygotes. Sexual development is initiated by a glycoprotein pheromone, Hallman et al., 1998. This pheromone is one of the most potent known biological effector molecules. It can trigger sexual development at concentrations as low as 10-16 m. Kirk and Kirk showed that sex-inducing pheromone production can be triggered experimentally in somatic cells by heat shock. Thus heat shock may be a condition that ordinarily triggers sex-inducing pheromone in nature. The Clisterium parachirosum strigosum littoral C. PSL complex is a unicellular, isogamous charophysian alga group that is the closest unicellular relative to land plants. Heterothallic strains of different mating type can conjugate to form zygospores. Sex pheromones termed protoplast release inducing proteins glycopolypeptides produced by mating type and mating type plus cells facilitate this process. Physiology The green algae, including the Shiratian algae, have served as model experimental organisms to understand the mechanisms of the ionic and water permeability of membranes, osmoregulation, turgor regulation, salt tolerance, cytoplasmic streaming, and the generation of action potentials. References External links Green algae and cyanobacteria in lichens Green algae, UC Berkeley Monterey Bay green algae